All right, what is up, guys? My name is Wolfie, and welcome back to Garden Warfare 2, and welcome back to another pack and play. In the last episode, we played as the Pylon Imp, which was, you know, that was pretty good. We had a pretty good episode. And this time around, we're going to be playing as the Fire Flower. Now, Fire Flower is probably my favorite sunflower in this game. It is definitely my highest ranked sunflower, and it's pretty much what it says in the tin. It's just, like... A normal sunflower except you get a bit of fire damage with it can't have any complaints about that and in case any of you are wondering what i'm doing now with regards to opening packs well for the last couple of weeks i've pretty much been grinding out zombopolis packs to try and get the rest of the legendaries i've been told apparently that the zany zombopolis packs do give you the best chance of getting legendary pieces which you know i'm not going to argue with it because i got half of the disco chomper on like my third pack not that i want the disco chomper i'm actually grinding them out because i'm trying to get the computer scientist so no they they would just give me half the disco chomper wouldn't they because I really want that. But it's an interesting story with a computer scientist involving Mocha. The last community challenge was Ice Variants, which, by the way, was the most irritating community challenge I have ever seen on this game. I have never experienced frustration quite like playing against full teams of Arctic Troopers and Frozen Citrons and all that other bullshit. I'm dead. Brilliant. But basically, we managed to complete the challenge fairly easily, which means we get the legendary item in the gold chest. I think it's a gold chest. And I was thinking there's one of two things I really want out of this. I either want the last piece of the computer scientist or I want the epic Batatronic, which for those of you who don't know, you can obviously get legendary helmets in this game. And that is the one for the foot soldier. It's basically the bat one that every time you kill someone, bats start flying around everywhere. It's amazing. Okay, just take my word for it. And basically, I managed to get the Batatronic, which I absolutely freaked out by the way i really wish i recorded my reaction to it like not even faked i legitimately lost my shit. and mocha ended up completing the computer scientist so swings and roundabouts i mean i can have absolutely no complaints about getting the batatronic because that's exactly what i wanted but now it's kind of made me want the computer scientist even more and it doesn't help that i literally have mocha every 10 seconds telling me how good he is oh mech 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 okay sunbeam him go 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 kill him kill him kill him there you go oh Okay, yeah, go for him. Go for him. <laughs> Don't go for me. He didn't even kill anyone. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't you dare be getting a direct impact on me because if you do, then, well, I'm I'm, I'm screwed, basically. Uh, now I've got three people attacking me. Fantastic. Four. I was wrong. But they're all crowded, like, in one place. Okay, he's done. Sunbeam. I couldn't have picked a worse place to launch this. Well, I can get this guy. Oh, he missed me with a ZPG. How can you miss a still target with a ZPG? I mean, fair enough if you, like, panic shot it, but, like, come on. I literally could not have used the Sunbeam in a worse place if I tried. No, no. Oh, well, great. Yep, yeah, well, I'm on my way then. Bye. Back up a little bit to the safety of another Sunflower. Oh, did they kill that mech already? Jesus Christ, that didn't take long. They keep having to change targets because more of them appear. At least I got the pile on him. That's something. They have a lot of foot soldiers. I mean, fair play. I mean, I, it's nice to see so many people using him, but like, wow. And that's the end of the game. Not bad first game. Not bad first game. That was hectic, man. I'm telling you what. Zombopolis packs. You're not doing the 15k packs anymore. We're doing 40k packs. That looks nice, though. And I actually do use the surgical mask, so it's nice to get the diamond one. So I can't tell whether I'm going to be better off sticking inside or outside for this one. Again, is the low gravity going to help me or is it going to screw me over? Probably going to be a bit of both. I think there's a... Yep, Draco's down there. Oi, Malfoy. Malfoy. Don't get... Nope, come back. Hey, you're not Malfoy, but you're close enough. There's Malfoy. Get over here. There you go. Got them both. Whoa. He's got so many of them naded. What the hell? He had like seven people. Draco, behave, behave, behave. There you go. Well, the low gravity is actually kind of helping me a little bit, I think. So I might stop out here. Got a couple of brains up there. So I can make myself nice and impossible to hit. You couldn't have missed that any worse if you tried. You just would try that, wouldn't you? That's so typical. He's on the other side of the map, but yeah, I reckon I could still punt him from here. Okay, nice. Get a few more of them. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, that's a shark bite, shark bite, shark bite. No, 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 no. There you go. He's done. Can I smell the winner? I mean, if he hasn't showered in a few days, he might. Hey, what's up? Do you get him? Sorry I had to do that. You should be thankful. I was helping you snipe him. Every single time I've seen an all-star in this game, he's been throwing a punt. Do they do anything else? 
have a feeling this mech isn't going to last very long. That wasn't even five seconds, I don't think. He's going to punt. Oh, he's going to try an ultra tackle. And he missed. And I killed him anyway. He's going to punt me. Wait for the punt. Wait for the punt. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. He's going to... Oh. You could do that. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, I knew it was only a matter of time. I love how you waited until I was like miles away from him before he tried punting me. <laughs> you could have punted me when you were like half a yard away from me and I probably would have died. Nine Vanquish streak? Yeah, it's not bad. I love how Sunflowers just dominated the game, as you do. 14 and 2, much better that time, much better. Am I really the highest ranked person in this lobby? I feel like such a no-lifer. I've never ever been the highest rank in a Garden Warfare 2 lobby. That's probably why I'm doing so well. Don't make me play the Arctic Trooper. Well, we've had this conversation many times before. Don't make me do it, because I will do it. Have it your way. The only reason I can think they wouldn't let me switch teams is because they really wanted me to use the Arctic Trooper. So let's 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 give the game what it wants. Don't you be running. Don't you be running. Nope. I'm killing this Citron if it's the last thing I do. See? Look at all the bats flying everywhere. Is that not just the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? The fact that I get to see that every single time I kill someone is just... B-E-A beautiful. I wonder if he's going to stand still. Oh, he is. Okay. Easy, buddy. Easy. Freeze, freeze, freeze. And... Bye. It's kind of disgusting that you can do that, but... Oh, oh that was a cheap shot. Who did... No, who did that? Oh, that was a cheap shot. Come on. Get your stupid little garlic drone out of here. Whoa. Easy, tiger. Oh, hold up. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. I'm not even going to get into it. I'm going to have to buzz myself. Okay, reload now. Get ready to take the two. There goes the two. Next. I suppose I should just stand here and let you eat me. Don't worry, it's cool. I've been blown up by an RPG before. I can take it. Oh my god, if that got the direct impact, that would have been so nice. Oh! Holy sh! That does so much damage. What? I mean, I know Huskop does a lot of damage, but like, he didn't even get all of it. And still, like, Jesus. I can freeze this metal flower. Just freeze you in place. Just freeze you in place. There it is. Okay, dead. Bye. Did you have to rob that off me? Actually, speaking of toxic brains over there, there is going to be a development on the... Uh, oh, I can't really say that it's a series because we've only made one video, but I'm sure you'll remember the worst superheroes of all time. I mean, I mean the best superheroes of all time because that's what we were. People have been asking what will be the future of Morning Glory and the Gym Instructor. Well, I can actually confirm for you now that they may be recruiting a new member. Yeah, you're just going to Citron Ball me. Of course you are. And I still killed you. Who remembers this guy? The hell are we going to call this guy? I don't even fucking Toxic know. waste. Just unknown. Toxic, toxic waste of time. Toxic waste of time. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to be that guy specifically, but we absolutely have to have a toxic waste of time. It is going to happen. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> I'm sorry. And they won. They won by one point. Really? I mean, actually, there's already three members. So if we do have a toxic waste of time, that'd be the fourth member. We cannot forget Johnny. Absolutely cannot forget Johnny. Johnny! Johnny! <laughs> Johnny's alive and well. Johnny! Look at all that! Oh my god. Johnny! <laughs> Johnny! There's a fly buzzing around my face right now, and it's really getting on my nerves. Draco, can you behave yourself, please? Consider yourself disciplined. Sounded slightly dirty. Why have they got so many imps? What is this? It's like me and this fly are going to be having a serious word in a minute. A word that, you know, sounds a little bit like if he does not stop buzzing around my face, he is going to die. Okay. Does the mech want to come back in here? He knows he does. Well, you, you can come back here as your imp. That's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll kill you either way. Yep. We can, we can do it that way. Whoa, where the hell did you come from? Easy player. Nah. What the fuck? Everyone's just going to ignore that imp standing like right in the middle of the group of plants. They literally have so many imps on their team. It's not even funny. And we lost again. Making a bit of a habit of this now, aren't we? Looks like 
looks like is that time again. I mean, Popcap, really, if you love me playing the Arctic Trooper that much, you could have just said. There goes the one. And there's a Frozen Citron. There goes the two. Holy crap, they're all Citrons. What is this? What even is this? Do you want any more Citrons on your team? Oh, hold up, player. There you go. Take a seat. You, sir. Take a seat. And who's next? Um, okay, well, perhaps won't be too hasty on that one. Not in the best place in the world right now. I just saved your life. You were about to walk right on that. I just saved your sorry little ass. Okay, do you not know forget this. The funniest thing is that I was actually going to miss you. You want to kill me? You're going to have to come over here. Oh. At least get that sunflower. Yes, well played. That's how we do it. Love how he never came out of the Citron Ball at any point. I have no desire to fight. I could freeze this cactus. Like that, like that. Go on, go on. Go on. Why does everyone rob my kill when I'm about to ZPG them? That's the closest thing to a cock block you can pretty much get in this game. Dude, but the Agent Ps, there's so many of them. What is this? There you go. Oh, I've got a health upgrade. Cool. I'm never going to use that. What I really want is a damage upgrade, but I think that's the last upgrade I'm going to get for this guy now. I feel so sorry for him. He had two OP ice characters attacking him. Like, there is nothing you can do about that. Up the arse. What happened to you? I just see him do some roly-poly straight past me as I'm killing the f***ing Citron. Do a barrel roll! That's it. Perfect. Game's going pretty well. Oh, you're so dead. You are so dead. Oh, that was the winning kill as well. If only there was a final kill cam. They could have just seen the level of overkill in that. Yeah, you bet I got the most kills. That's right. 17 and 3 that time. I'll end on that. That's a good game. All right, Cubs. So that is going to do it for the Fire Flower today. What do I like and dislike? To be completely honest, the only actual criticism I have of this character is she doesn't have as many shots in a clip as some of the other variants. But then if she had any more, then she'd be disgusting. So that's... Fair enough. But I really, really like her, actually. As far as sunflowers go, anyway, she's pretty much my favourite one. Still hits good damage, you get fire damage. She's fairly accurate. Not the most accurate sunflower in the world, but she's not bad. So I would definitely recommend her if you do have her. The problem is I don't play a very good sunflower because I'm not really much of a healer. I get the sunflowers hit a lot of damage and you can drop kills of them, but sunflowers really are kind of meant for support and healing. And I tend not to do a whole lot of that. I just stick on the sunflower and just run around killing people anyway. Hence, I don't usually play it. But either way, that is going to be it for this episode of Pack and Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it and in the meantime we are now finished with the fire flower we can cross her off the list and we have to move down to the next character on the list which happens to be the super commander it's going to be an interesting one